ओम सदाशिव समारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम ओं सहनावो सहनो भुन सह वीरवाह तेजस्वी नवजीतमस्तु मिषा वह ये ओं शांत शांत शांति धातु ब्रह्म संप्रोक्त जीव आख्यात्य प्रकृति कृषुबंतादिर्धातुब्रह्मात्मने नम नारायण परो व्यक्ता दंडम व्यक्त संभव अंडस्यांतस्मे लोका सप्तद्वीपा चे सो वी लुक डैट दी क्वेश्चन बाय अर्जुन इन दी थर्टी थर्टी सेवेन थर्टी एट एंड थर्टी नाइन श्लोका whereby he is asking what happens to a person who is a yogi as in yogi in the sense he wants to become a settled yogi and thereby he has given up karma and he has not completed his journey he has not got the yoga phala then what happens to that person this is the question he had asked uh, in the earlier shlokas three shlokas <coughs> स लास्ट विस हे कृष्ण एक संशय अशेषत छेतुम रहसी यू ओ कृष्ण यू शुड रिजॉल्व दिस डाउट ऑफ माइंड यू शुड शैटर दिस डाउट ऑफ माइंड बिकॉज अदर देन यू हू कैन बी बेटर बेटर टीचर अशय तदन्य छेत्ता न ही उपपद्य है इट इज नॉट टेनेबल टू थिंक ऑफ समन एल्स वेन यू यूर सेल्फ आर अवेलेबल एंड देन भगवान इज एंसरिंग दिस क्वेश्चन एज टू अ पर्सन द क्वेश्चन इज if a person is unable to complete the journey and since he has given up karma he is not protected he does not have his uh, kavacha thereby pratyavay dosha can be there and gati which is defined by karma since karma is not there that gati is uh, not uh, not sure nobody can tell you as to what is the gati now what course will that person take and that is answered by bhagwan shri bhagwan uvach parth nevah namutra vinashastasya vidyate nahi kalyan krut kaschid durgatintat gachhati so he parth na he parth na ev ih na amutra neither here nor there as in after the drop of the body unto another loka amutra elsewhere vinashah vinasha tasya vidyate arjuna had uh, doubted vinasha he thought that there will be vinasha because there is no protection and there can be adhogati tasya vidyate nahi kalyan krut kaschit nahi kaschit kalyan krut kalyanam karoti iti kalyan krut one who has taken to this path this path of yoga for parama purushartha which is the reason a person is born as a human being so kalyana krut kaschit kalyana krut durgatim na gachhati nahi gachhati definitely he will not attain any durgati he will not attain any bad course he will continue a good course and he addresses them tata he tata tata is generally used for uh, for father so if you look at uh, there is a very uh, very beautiful uh, bhashya on this as to the word tata so if you look at this uh, bhashya uh, oh sorry pratham adhyaya shashto adhyaya so in the 40th shloka uh here he says uh, kalyana krut is shubha krut one who has done kalyana karma kalyana karma is shubha krut what brings kalyana what brings punya so shubha krut means punya krut punya here is the 
आत्मज्ञान इज पुण्य योगा इट सेल्फ इज पुण्य देर सो कश्चित दुर्गति कुत्सिता गति न गति एंड देन इज हे तात तनोति आत्मा पुत्र रूपेण पिता तात उच्यते पिता इज कॉल्ड एस तात वाय बिकॉज इट इज फ्रॉम तन धातु तात इज डिराइव फ्रॉम तन धातु तनोति आत्मा पुत्र रूपेण वेर अ पर्सन वॉन्ट्स टू बिगेड अ चाइल्ड द थिंकिंग बिहाइंड दैट इज लेट मी लेट मी लिव थ्रू माई लिनिएज सो पुत्र रूपेण तात उच्यते हियर ही से आत्मा तनोति He spreads his himself. Atma there is reflective. He spreads himself unto his lineage, generations across generation. He wants to live through, through the children. Therefore, he builds a child. So, therefore, he is called as Tata, the father. Now, Pita eva putra iti putra api Tata uchchate. This son is also called as Tata. Why? Because Pita eva putra ha the father himself is born as a child he himself is born really uh, uh, that's why it is called as gauna atma the mother thinks of the child as oneself she can feel the the parent mother or father or the parent can feel the pain of the child even if the child is separate has a separate body still the parent can mother especially can feel the pain why because she has spread herself into the uh, child the atma is spread there that's why it is called as gauna atma children are called as gauna atma so pita eva putra thereby the father or a parent him, himself or herself is born as a child pita eva putra iti uh, putra api tata uchyate putra is also called as tata now arjuna is neither krishna's father nor is he krishna's son they then he says shishya api putra uchyate shishya api the shishya varga is also called as a, a family thereby shishya api putra uchyate and therefore considering him as a shishya krishna calls arjuna as putra so here he says uh हे तात कश्चि कल्याण दुर्गति नहीं गच्छति डेफिनेटली ही नॉट अटेन एनी दुर्गति हे पार्थ हे पार्थ इह तस्य तस्य इह something wrong it's a little slow tasya iha vinashah na vidyate tasya kasya whoever he is inquiring about yoga prashtah and then amutra vinashah na vidyate and tasya amutra vinashah na vidyate and then he says kashchit kalyanakrut kashchit kalyanakrut durgatim nahi gachyati definitely does not attain any durgati he tat okay so uh, i am not marking the cases i hope the cases are clear kintu as kim tu asya bhavati on the other hand what happens to this person this yoga prashta what happens prapya punya krutan lokan ushitva shashvati samaha suchi nam shrimatang gehe yoga prashto vijayate so this kalyana krut is really yoga prashta yoga prashta meaning he is fallen from the path how by not may not have fallen from the path in the extreme sense but uh, 
what arjuna had asked is that he is not practicing ayat ayati he had asked ayati he this word here ayati he he had asked about ayati he shraddhaya upeta the person is shraddhaya upay upetaha but still ayati he he is unable to he is unable to practice for whatever reason he has uh, he is unable to practice he has no commitment complete commitment but shraddha is there and he knows i am on the right path but for whatever reason he is unable to uh, commit completely it uh, completely to it and there were chalita manasa this is a chalita manasa so what happens to that person he is called as a yoga bhrashta and that yoga bhrashta although yoga bhrashta since he has taken to yoga kalyanakrut thereby kalyanakrut he cannot have vinasha then what happens prapya yoga bhrashta punyakrutan lokan prapya punyakrutan lokan first padacheda so prapya punyakrutan lokan shashvati sama ushitva then suchinam shrimatam gehe yoga bhrashta abhijayate this yoga bhrashta is born is born in the family of shrimat those who have shri those who have wealth and what is the wealth any kind of wealth ashtalakshmi we can consider ashtalakshmi but generally wealth is dhana so punyakrutan lokan ush prapya because he is done punya thereby he attained this punya punya krita loka this lokas either you consider as those words to which he travels or experiences wherever he goes there he has some experience that experience is what what a person craves for when a person does any punya he wants the result that result is in the form of experience so punya krita this loka lokyate ti loka that which is experience is that experience is a result of a punya here therefore it is a sukha it is a sukha anubhava this loka is a sukha anubhava or loka is that in which there is sukha anubhava so punya krita loka having attained those lokas punya krutan lokan prapya then shashvati hi sama ushitva then not only having attained it as in reached it but also staying there for a long duration samaha samvatsara many years even uh, science says that the the more you go away from the earth the earth's gravity you go away from that you the time changes the time factor changes even recently this uh, uh, chand um, this the uh, uh, the isro vehicle in chandrayana so that uh, they wanted to reach uh, or uh, put vikram there at a time where there is daylight because the day on moon is different from the day here so the time factor changes and in comparison to this unit of year here on this loka the year there is much longer so even if he stays there for a year in the count of units here it will be many years so shashwati samaha shashwati is not nitya really but such a long time it in comparison to this time or this life that will be much 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 longer therefore it appears to be nityavat so samaha samvatsara those many years shashwati those many years he stays ushitva having stayed there twa pratya vasdhatu having stayed there in those lokas for many samvatsaras then he is reborn as a human being not el- as anything else as in he continues his journey and that journey is possible only in a human birth therefore suchi naam shrimatam or shrimatam suchi naam gehe yoga bhrashta abhijayate he is born this yoga bhrashta is born that is the anvaya here uh, i hope the again these uh, uh, cases are clear so prapyes yabanta 
पुण्यकृतान लोकान प्राप्य सॉरी पुण्यकृतान लो टू थ्री लोकान प्राप्य समथिंग इज रॉन्ग ओके इट्स लिटिल स्लो जस्ट लेट मी चेक इफ समथिंग एल्स इज रनिंग हियर श्रीमताम सुची नाम जी वॉट भाष्यकार पुण्यकृताम सो अश्वेधादि याजिना लोकान इज लोकान विच आर रिजल्ट ऑफ अश्वेध कर्म इत्यादि अश्वेध इत्यादि कर्म काम्य कर्म योग मार्गे प्रवृत्त संन्यासी सामर्थ्यात प्राप्य गत्वा पुण्यकृताम अश्वेधादि याजिना लोकान because he had purvashrama in purvashrama he had he done some punya karma those punya karmas the result of those karmas he has to achieve because even as a sanyasi he didn't attain the end of yoga he didn't get moksha in this life so there he enjoys these results of punya punya karma and then tatracha ushitva vasam anubhuya shashvati nitya samasamvatsaran those many nitya ha mini for a long time nitya is here is not it is relative relatively nitya tad bhog akshay and then what happens this will finally come to an end otherwise shashwati if it is really nitya he does not have to do anything because there is no possibility of another another janma but since there is a possibility of his set abhijayate it is mentioned here as abhijayate since he is going to be born later that means this shashwati is not really nitya it is relative relatively permanent compared to and what is in relation to relation to this life here manushya janma tad bhog akshay when this punya bhoga is over punya krota loka bhoga is over then tad bhog akshay suchi nam yathokta karinam suchi nam is yathokta karina those who do as mentioned in the shastra thereby suchi and shrimatam vibhuti matam they have lot of wealth they don't have to struggle uh, to make ends meet in this life vibhuti matam gehe grahe yoga prashta abhijayate so he is born there so this takes away the doubt that there is no vinasha there is a good gati punya will get its result and then the person is born again the jiva is born again as a human being athava other possibility now this is one possibility other possibilities athva athava yoginam eva kule bhavati dhimatam etad bhidurlavataral loke janma yadi drisham so bhagwan says there is another possibility that this person athava what is this athava to suchinam shrimatam gehe instead of uh, being born in a rich family where is he born athwa yoginam eva kule so those who uh, follow the shastras are all right but they follow shastras for what karma kanda these suchi suchi nam shrimatam gehe in the house of these suchi and shrimat this suchi and shrimat these are wealthy people but then they are interested in kamya karma dharma dharmika karma but to attain that wealth they want to do some kamya karma in that kind of a life so he has a good life that's all but being yoga prashta the journey will continue from there now being born in a wealthy family where there is no yoga but karma yoga not dhyana yoga or jnana yoga then in such a family it will take a long time for a person to reach the point where he would continue what he left in the last janma that journey because he has lot of punya to be fructified so that punya which uh, needs to be fructified gave him a better life elsewhere and then not only did he enjoy the swarga sukha he has that sukha in this uh, in the, on this earth also there is some sukha which is left for him to undergo bhoga of thereby he is born in a rich family a dharmic family nonetheless but where he has a chance there is a chance that 
he may get spoiled. Being born with a silver spoon, he can become egoistic, he can take wealth for granted, he can become lazy, he can lose his path. So that is a possibility or even if it is dharmic, still for a, for a long duration he may not be able to get onto the path of yoga. Therefore, an option which is a better option if the person is a uh, has more tilt towards yoga or had more tilt towards yoga and he was not so much of a ayatihi in earlier janma, then what will happen? Athava, otherwise, yoginam eva kule bhavati dhimatam. Dhimatam kule, not, uh, not shrimatam, dhimatam. Those who have buddhi viveka, buddhi even uh, uh, shriman has, shrimati or shriman who are uh, wealthy, they also have buddhi, but they have buddhi which is worldly. So they, but here dhimata is, this dhi is shastradhi which gives you viveka as to what kind of wealth do I want, what kind of sampatti. I want the sampatti that will give me purushartha siddhi. Even the shat sampatti, shamadi sampatti, shat, the shatkam is called sampatti, that is a wealth for a sadhaka. The sadhaka's wealth is different, so thereby the sadhaka's, in sadhaka's family they are also shriman, but they can't be called as shriman, why? Because that shri that they have is sadhaka shri, which has no worldly value. So, Although these, these people can call, also be called as dhimat, but since they are worldly dhi and we are interested in shastra dhi, therefore these people are called only shrimat. But, uh, and similarly, this dhimat, the family where there is viveka, dharma viveka, there, they are also shriman because they have sadhaka as well, but that is, useless for a worldly, thereby they are called only dhimat, not as shrimat, although both can be called as with both words, still they are categorized shrimat, shrimat uh, shrimantaha and dhimantaha. So dhimatam athwa yoginam dhimatam, those dhimat not only viveka, dharma viveka, but also vedanta viveka, therefore jnana yoga viveka they have. Therefore, yoginam, they are yogis, they have attained, even uh, uh, father is a yogi, mother is a yogi, thereby in that family, since childhood this person is studying yoga, he is studying yoga not asana pranayama, yoga as in, uh, not only karma yoga, but dhyana yoga, culminating to jnana and dhyana yoga, thereby yoginam, dhimatam yoginam, eva kule bhavati, bhavati is janma bhavati or uh, as Bhagavan Bhashyakara says here, so Bhavati, he says Jayate, so Bhavati is Jayate, he is born, Abhijayate, he extends that to Bhavati and says Abhijayate. Dhimatam, etad hi, and what is this in comparison to the earlier, etad hi, durlabataram loke janma, etad janma hi, loke durlabataram, tarap pratya, and tarap without any comparison, there is nothing to compare. So, uh, it is more difficult, meaning what? It is more difficult to the earlier or it can be the most difficult also, if you don't take anything to compare with. If you have, say Tarap, Tarap is a comparative, so you have to compare with the earlier one. In comparison to Srimatam Gehe Yad Janma Bhavati, in comparison to that, Dhimatam Kule Janma Durlavataram Bhavati, it is more difficult. Yad idrisham, idrisham, this type of janma. And what is that? Here he says, yoginam yokulam. And since dhimata, they are not rich. In fact, Bhagavan Bhashya, we will look at the Bhashya in a bit. Let me finish the Anvaya here. So, athava dhimatam yoginam eva kule Janma Bhavati, I will add this Janma Bhavati 
एंड एतत एतत ही एतत ही ईदृशम ऑफ दिस टाइप जन्म ऑफ दिस टाइप ईदृशम जन्म यत यत लोके दुर्लभ सरम भवती ईदृशम जन्म यत ईदृशम जन्म यत एतत ही लोके दुर्लभतरम भवती दैट टाइप ऑफ दैट टाइप ऑफ जन्म which is of that type this is that very janma which is difficult in the world more difficult and what is that bhagwan bhashyakara says uh, athava shrimatam kulat anyasmin kule in another kula which is different from this uh, shrimanta kula what is that if it is different then daridranam kule because if it is uh, if you had to say dhiman then they cannot be shriman also because otherwise shriman it will be included in the earlier category itself having separated it by saying athava this family cannot be shriman the family so he says daridranam kule where there is no well poverty is there in fact if you uh, have studied or uh, studied or if you heard stories as in childhood uh, uh, not the young generation the earlier generation if you look at the earlier generation or my age when they were children the stories were what the stories would start with there was one daridra brahmana somewhere not a brahmana daridra brahmana it's always uh, poverty in brahmana's house but those brahmanas were really what they were really learned panditas they they had had shastra uh, knowledge unlike uh, you know names like brahmanas so daridranam kule bhavati jayate dhimatam buddhimatam those who have buddhi and thereby they didn't spend their lives earning or hankering after wealth they had sufficient to you know keep the life ticking surviving but every commitment was every effort was towards the commitment of purushartha thereby buddhimatam dhimatam kule and since they have, you cannot have two fold commitment we have seen earlier either a person runs after wealth or a person runs, runs after shastra you cannot get both people have tried and failed not possible etad hi janma and this daridranam yoginam kule yat janma that is etad janma durlabataram dukkhalabhyataram it is very difficult to attain why because in a wealthy family it is very easy to get lost it there it is difficult to come to yoga here it is easy to come to yoga because there is nothing else in the family to do now a person who is poor see you have to the comparison is such that the comparison is between a dharmika wealthy person versus a dhiman uh, daridra person or that kind of a family the comparison is not between poverty and richness because people who are poor due to bad karma they won't be born in uh, families where there is dharma they are born in families where there may be some dharma or no dharma and poverty is there so they have to struggle to earn their livelihood and that struggle to earn their livelihood can take them to a criminal life also this is not that this is in comparison to the uh, dharma being present and wealth being there in that comparison uh, so it is in contrast to poverty without dharma and uh, rich wealth without and or with dharma both may be possible so this is a separate category where poverty is there but why is that poverty there because a person didn't value the generations didn't value money they valued vidya thereby daridranam yoginam kule therefore they are yogis and yoginam kule durlabataram dukha labhyataram purom apeksha in comparison to earlier category 
लोके जन्म यत ईदृशम यथोक्त विशेषेण विशेषणे कुले यथोक्त विशेषणे कुले वॉट एवर दिस भीमताम एंड योगिनाम दैट इज विशेषण कुले दैट इज एडजेक्टिव बाय विच द कुला इज क्वालिफाइड दे आर योगी कुला धीमत कुला दिस इज हाउ पीपल टॉक अबाउट दैट फैमिली इन सच अ फैमिली इन सच फैमिली दिस पर्सन इज बॉर्न यस्मात फर्दर यस्मात तत्र तम बुद्धि संयोग लभते पौर्व देहिकम यतते चतो भूय संसिद्ध कुरु नंदन एंड वॉट हैपन्स फॉर संसिद्धि हे कुरु नंदन भूय ततः यतते अगेन भूय इज पुनः अगेन इन द सेंस अगेन द वे ही हैड मेड सम एफर्ट अर्लियर बट दैट एफर्ट वॉज इन कंप्लीट एज इन कंप्लीट बिकॉज यू अयति ही देर but again now he puts in effort in this janma for what samsiddhi for moksha samyak siddhi he kuru nandana tataha bhuyaha yatate and here you see this kuru nandana why he is bringing this kuru nandana kuru is kuru family that family of kurus he shows that you are born into in this family for what reason you have to inquire now that's why we have seen that uh, the way so many names are given to arjuna or krishna there there is some basis for that as to which name is used in which context or in which shloka so in this context of talking about kula he talks about kuru nandana he brings in his kula and says that kuru family you look at your kuru family and see how great people were there and then thereby you can also follow them tatr tatr in tasmin janmani in that janma where wherever he is born there tatra cha buddhi sanyoga labhate buddhi sanyoga he attains the sanyoga with the earlier buddhi whatever was there labhate paurva dehikam buddhi sanyogam paurva dehika is whatever was there in the purva deha in the earlier deha earlier deha in the earlier janma deha whatever buddhi sanyoga he has he attains that again tat labhate and then tataha tata means in continuation whatever was done earlier he does not have to repeat anything it will just trigger the memory the circumstance will be such that he hears about some satsanga or he goes to accidentally he'll pick up a book so many people have these experiences you pick up some book in some god for second desert or some airport where there is nothing spiritual but you will pick up only that particular spiritual book there will be thousands of useless magazines but you will pick up that there may be thousands of movies but you will end up watching some shankaracharya movie or something there are so many uh, you know uh, dramas going on but you will attend some satsanga how because there is purva samskara that will drag you there so that is what is said here tatra tatra tam buddhi sanyoga that buddhi sanyoga labhate he attains person attains that tavate purva dehikam so it is too slow to go back and forth so he attains that and further what yatate cha and then further he struggles or he puts in effort in continuation tataha whatever was there in earlier janma further to that he does he takes more effort bhuyah samsiddho for samyak siddhi he kuru nandana okay i didn't copy before marking cases so tatra 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 tam buddhi sanyogam labhate what is that buddhi sanyoga purva dehikam 
पूर्वदेह संबंधी पौर्वदेहिकम बुद्धि एंड देन ततः ततश्च ततश्च भूय भूय सॉरी टू मिनिट आई पोज भूय संसिध यतते हे कुरु नंदन सो यू कैन ऐड दैट हियर हे कुरु नंदन सो अर्जुन इज पुट एज एट ईज देन ही सेज कथम पूर्व देह बुद्धि संयोग तदुच्यते सो बुद्धि संयोग इज is pulling a that's why tam in second case so katam purva deha buddhi sanyoga iti tad ucchate how is it that he attains the purva deha buddhi sanyoga in in this life there is no purva deha now but how does he attain that sanyoga that is answered here in this uh, shloka 44 shloka purva abhyasena te naiva riyate hi avashopi sah जिज्ञासुरपियोगस्य शब्द ब्रह्माति वर्तते सो पूर्वाभ्यासेन तेनैव तेनैव पूर्वाभ्यासेन व्हाट एवर वाज डन अर्लियर ड्यू टू दैट वेरी अभ्यास ह्रियते ह्रियते ही इज कैरीड ही इज कैरीड हाउ अवशः इंडीड ही अवशः ही अवशः इवन इफ इवन विदाउट ही इज ही इज वॉन्टिंग इट वेदर ऑर ही नॉट दिस पर्सन वॉन्ट्स इट ही इज ट्रैक्ट टू इट सी इवन इन वेन बॉर्न इन अ श्रीमंत कुला वेन द टाइम इज राइट वेन टाइम इज राइट मीनिंग वेन हिज प्रारब्ध फॉर पुण्य भोग वॉट कैंड ऑफ पुण्य भोग द सुख ड्यू टू वेल्थ दैट इज ओवर then whatever yatna he has done earlier that will uh, trigger some phala now that has to continue now thereby he will be dragged even if he is in a rich family and he has absolutely no uh, clue as to what yoga is but still even in his family it is not there he'll be dragged elsewhere and he'll continue that he'll get interest in that so avasha api sah hriyate eva जिज्ञासु अभी योग से नॉट ओनली अ पर्सन हू हैज डन योग अर्लियर देर मे बी अ जिज्ञासु योग से जिज्ञासु है जिज्ञासा हु वॉन्टेड टू नो योग अंडरस्टैंड योग हु वॉन्टेड टू प्रैक्टिस योग बट ही डिड नॉट प्रैक्टिस एट ऑल इवन दैट कैंड ऑफ पर्सन जिज्ञासु अभी योग से शब्द ब्रह्म अति वर्तते शब्द ब्रह्म अति वर्तते ही ट्रांसक्रेस इज शब्द ब्रह्म शब्द ब्रह्म इज कर्म कांड द पर्सन हू इज इंटरेस्टेड इन वेदांता और इन योग इन ध्यान इत्यादि दैट पर्सन विल क्रॉस ओवर दिस कर्म कांड इवन अ पर्सन हू इज जस्ट इंटरेस्टेड देन व्हाट टू टॉक अबाउट अ पर्सन हू हैज प्रैक्टिस योग इन दी अर्लियर जन्म सो दिस इज दि दिस अफी जिज्ञासु अभी शोज दैट अवश अभी एक्चुअली बट दिस जिज्ञासु अभी हियर सेकेंड अभी जिज्ञासु अभी शोज दिस अभी शब्द शोज दैट इवन अ जिज्ञासु ज्ञातुमिच्छु वन हू जस्ट वॉन्ट्स टू नो क्यूरियासिटी इनिशियली क्यूरियासिटी इवन दैट कैंड ऑफ अ पर्सन क्रॉसेस ओवर कर्म कांड एंड गोज ओवर टू ज्ञान कांड देन वॉट टू टॉक अबाउट अ पर्सन हू हैज एक्चुअली स्टडीड वेदांता इन दी अर्लियर जन्म ही विल डेफिनेटली गेट दिस पूर्व देह बुद्धि संयोग दिस इज दि मीनिंग हियर सो पूर्व तेन पूर्वाभ्यास तेन पूर्वाभ्यास अवश अभी ह्रीयते ह्रीयते ही ह्रीयते अवश ही अपी विल कीप इट ही अपी तेन एव पूर्वाभ्यास अवश अभी ह्रीयते 
सह ह्रीयते सह ह्रीयते अवशा अवशा ह्रीयते और यू कैन टेक सह हियर ऑल्सो तेने सह तेने पूर्वाभ्यास न सह और अवशा सह सह ही लेट मी पुट इट सह ही अवशा अभी सह ही अवशा अभी ह्रीयते एक्चुअली दिस ही शुड बी लाइक एव एंड शुड बी यूज लाइक ह्रीयते एव जिज्ञासु अभी योग से शब्द ब्रह्म अति वर्त है देर इज नो चेंज हियर सो यू सी इन भाष्य इन दी एंड ही वुड सी दैट सी शब्द ब्रह्म वेदोक्त कर्मानुष्ठान फलम अति वर्तते सो शब्द ब्रह्म इज वॉट वेदोक्त कर्मानुष्ठान फलम प्रैक्टिस एंड द फला ऑफ दिस इज कॉल्ड शब्द ब्रह्म अति वर्तते अति क्रामती अपाकती ही गोज अवे फ्रॉम कर्मकांड वेर वुड ही गो नॉट इन टू सम लौकिक कर्म बट इन टू वेदांत किमुत बुद्ध्या योग सन्निष्ट अभ्यास कुरिया सो वॉट टू टॉक अबाउट पर्सन किमुत कईमुति का न्याय पर्सन हु इज नॉट ओनली जिज्ञासु बट हु इज प्रैक्टिसिंग योग हु इज प्रैक्टिस योग इन अर्लियर जन्म there is no reason to say that he there is no reason to doubt that he will not continue even he will cross over karma kanda into jnana kanda kutasya yogitvam shreya iti now how is this yogitvam shreya how is it superior that is said here in this 45th shloka prayatna yatamanastu yogi samshuddha kilvishah aneka janma samsiddhah tato yati parangatim प्रयत्नायतमान और प्रयत्ना तु यतमान वन हु इज पुटिंग एफर्ट हु इज नॉट अयति ही इज नॉट ओनली यति ही बट ही इज पुटिंग मोर एफर्ट यतमान मीन्स कंटिन्यूअसली एंगेज प्रयत्ना यतमान दैट इज द मीनिंग हियर दैट योगी एंड देर वाई हि इज योगी हु कैन बी कॉल्ड एज योगी योग अस्त अस्त योगी वन हु हेज योग नॉट टाइम पास योग एज इन वन इन अ वाइल you know getting bored let me try this or others are doing let me do this no and not even you know i have mood for yoga today he always has mood for yoga because he by nature is yogi so it has a meaning which is like nijantargata nijantargata kind of a meaning is there for this yogi yoga asti in the sense that uh, it is uh, uh, it is matubarthe ini and matup is when you have in a good measure just like a person who has you know 10 rupees 100 rupees 1000 rupees today is not called as a dhiman uh, sorry as a shrimanta similarly that matup cannot be used there matup should be in a great measure so here yogi is one who matuvarte ini who has yoga in a great measure meaning more than 51% of his life is that you know more than 50% so just like he can take over a company so you can be called as a yogi only when your life is uh, driven by yoga so that kind of a yogi who is prayatna dyatamanah and why so samshuddha kilvishah why so or due to being yogi samshuddha kilvishah so samadhi yoga is samadhi again so samadhi asti 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 yoga asti asti me samadhi meaning uh, vritti nirodah योग चित्तवृत्ति निरोध सो चित्तवृत्ति निरोध विल लीड टू वासनाक्षय देर वाय संशुद्ध किलबिश संशुद्ध किलबिश कैन ऑल्सो बी ड्यू टू कर्म योग और ड्यू टू अदर पुण्य कर्म बट दिस योग विल ऑल्सो टेक संशुद्ध पाप किलबिश इज पाप वन हूज पाप इज गॉन एंड देर वाय संशुद्ध इज प्योर सो बेसिकली वन हूज पुण्य कर्म ओनली अनेक जन्म संसिद्ध एंड 
whatever was the goal of life he has attained here in this life and that he has attained due to punya of many lives therefore aneka janma samsiddha he has aneka janma na samsiddha through many janmas he has attained this and has become samsiddha tatah yati parangatim thereby parangatim yati he attains a great gati and what is that paragati paragata is fine pati is finally moksha gati so we'll keep it in this manner prayatnad prayatnat yatamanah or you can put two here prayatnat tu yatamanah yogi samshit samshuddha kilvisha yogi so don't know what all it is doing i am also sleepy so i am making my own mistakes on top of this uh, slow software now so prayatnat tu yatamanah samshuddha किलविशा योगी अनेक जन्म संसिद्ध ततांगति याति ही अटेन्स हाइएस्ट गति गति याति वी कैन ऑल्सो ऐड ततः हियर हियर यू कैन ऐड ततः हियर ऑल्सो that is also possible yasma devam tasma since it is so since this is the case as to what the person continues his journey as he has left in the earlier janma from there he continues his journey he picks up the thread and then he doesn't waste time or he does not repeat whatever he has done earlier thereby the journey continues and across janmas whatever punya he has accumulated that will define his course in the next janma and the next janma so on and so forth till he attains moksha yasma devam tasma since this is so tapas vibhyodhiko tapas vibhyodhiko yogi jnani bhyopi matodhikah karmi bhyaschadiko yogi tasma yogi bhava arjuna therefore you become a yogi he is telling arjuna since yogi is adhikah adhika means he is superior yogi is superior to whom compared to tapasvis tapasvis does do tapas for what reason maybe to gain some punya or to have devata darshana or for some siddhi but even uh, ravana was a tapasvi but he wanted some laukika phala or paralaukika phala but not moksha yogi wants that therefore jnanibhya api and jnanibhya in comparison here jnani is not that jnani is parajnani parabrahma jnani this jnani is one who has uh, has called a pandityam bhagwan bhashyakara says jnanibhya ज्ञानमत्र शास्त्र पांडित्यम शास्त्रार्थ पांडित्यम ही नो शास्त्र एंड ही नो शास्त्र अर्थ दैट कैंड ऑफ पांडित्य स्कॉलरशिप इज देयर बट देन देर इज नो ज्ञान आर एज इन नो अपरोक्ष ज्ञान सो इज नॉट एन अपरोक्ष ज्ञानी एट एट द मोस्ट इज अ परोक्ष ज्ञानी बट दिस योगी इज एन अपरोक्ष ज्ञानी देर फोर ही इज बेटर देन परोक्ष ज्ञानी और अ कर्मकांडी ज्ञानी और अ यू नो वन हु हैज बुकेश नॉलेज अभी मत अधिक मत he is considered to be superior superior higher and karmibhyascha karmibhyascha one who is doing karma or those who are doing karma compared to them also adhika yogi adhikah tasmat tvam yogi bhava therefore you you become a yogi bhava arjuna he arjuna you become a yogi i leave this uh, anvaya for those who want to want to do we'll finish this i want to finish the last shloka also so, or we'll revisit the anvaya once i finish this and then further what does bhagwan krishna say yogi nam api sarvesham madgate nantar atmana shraddha van bhajate yo mam same yukta tamo matah further he says yogi nam api सर्वेशाम, कम, 
among the yogis also now yogi is better than whom uh, yogi is better than karmakandi he is better than uh, panditas and he is better than tapasvis but among those yogis yogina api sarvesham yogina madhye among these yogis also madgata madgatena antaratmana antaratmana madgatena antaratmana shraddhavan a person who is shraddhavan and yah maam bhajate one who yah maam and who is this yah maam bhajate bhaja here really what bhaja sevayam dhatu se seva but it is not say shraddhavan bhajate yah maam bhajate this is not bhajana kirtana or seva because in this chapter itself we have seen there are a lot of hints to mahavakyas or mahavakyas across shlokas person has to do atma dhyana and thereby he has sarvatma bhava and that sarvatma bhava is brahma bhava or parmatma bhava thereby aikya has been shown and maam bhajate means again that maam is who parmatma is atma so one who takes to this pratyagatma as oneself which is not different from parmatma thereby yogina sarvesham yogina madhye <coughs> compared to all the yogis of various types of yogis are there compare uh, among those madgatena antaratmana we'll see the bhashya in a bit antaratmana madgatena antaratmana through that kind of a antakarana where uh, where the atma is not different from paramatma through that brahmakara vritti shraddhavan yah bhajate maam bhajate sah me yukta tamah matah me matah what is bhagwan's view yukta tamah tam pratyay has been used here not adhikah adhika is like adhikatara adhika is like tarapratya superior but here most superior yukta tamah that person is the best of the yogis among these yogis one who has this aikya jnana and then shraddha which shraddha one bhajate yah maam bhajate sah yukta tamah matah let's quickly look at the bhashya before we go to anvaya if we have time and so Uh, we have seen this shastra tad tadvadhya api matah jnata adika shreshta superior karmibhya agnihotra adi karma karma is agnihotra adi karma and the person who has that karma is karmi karmibhya compared to those karmis tadvadhya adika yogi vishishta he is uh, special he is better superior shreshta yasmat tasmad yu arjuna he arjuna tum yogi bhav yu become a yogi don't become a karmi don't become a tapasvi don't become a shastrarth pandita but become a yogi then he says yogina api sarvesham who are these yogis now he gives an example rudra aditya adi so all these devatas also there is a rudra gana rudra is not shiva rudra is the best of the rudras is called as shiva but this rudra is the gana there is a gana devata ganas who are called rudra aditya is not surya aditya is also a gana otherwise aditya is also surya is aditya narayana not that narayana aditya here is aditya gana so rudra gana aditya gana tesham madhye yoginam they are all yogis so rudra aditya adi dhyana paranam and here not only those here what are these yogis here actually they are not comparing with rudra but even if you take rudra as shiva and aditya as narayana also those yogis who are doing saguna brahma dhyana so they consider rudra as the most superior shaivites and aditya so either as gana but here you can take rudra and aditya as shiva and narayana or surya surya upasaka so gayatri upasana also aditya upasana but yogi is that kind of a yogi who considers uh, who are committed to dhyana dhyana para and dhyana is on whom rudra aditya ityadi 
all the all the adipadena all devatas can be included brahma vishnu shivadaya all of those so yogina api sarvesham rudraditiyadi dhyana parana madhye madgatena madgatena is what mai vasudeva samahitena antaratmana madgatena antaratmana means atma is samahita samahita is composed or focused vasudeve mai vasudeve so mai vasudeve mai here and vasudeva in sama vasudeva is who vibhutatva parmatma antaratma antakarina shraddhavan shraddhadhanah san bhajate sevate yo maam so one who who serves the lord how with aikya with aikya he serves because he is absorbed samahita samahita is samadhi he is absorbed in that parmatma he is not different from parmatma that is the meaning yo a sa me mama mate mataha abhipreta what is that yukta tamaha atishayana yukta he is yogi of a highest order this is uh, bhagwan's idea in this shloka this is what he is expressed <coughs> just want to see something in the vyakhya if you can find more anandari tika si yo bhagavantam sagunam nirgunam va yathoktena cheto sa vidar saguna brahma or nirgunam brahma whether with gunas like being rudra aditya ityadi yathoktena chetasa shraddha dhana san anavaratam anavaratam anusandatte sa yuktanam madhya atishena yukta shreyan ishwarasya vipritaha and initially what is it nanu aditya viradatma sutram karanam aksharam ityesham upasaka bhuyam su yogina gamyante same meaning that we have seen esham katama shreyan ishyate tatra yoginam ti so compared to those who uh, have uh, have practiced this yoga as an upasana whether as a as a prescribed upasana or not whether an ishta devata ityadi compared to them this yogi is better who is uh, who is uh, absorbed into bhagwa and completely committed to that so we'll stop here i'll just uh, do the anvaya here i don't want to leave it hanging so let's complete this here arjuna tasmat yogi bhava this is the main sentence and what are the hetu there तपस्वीभ्य योगी अधिक कर्मीभ्य योगी तपस्वीभ्य अपी What do we have? What else do we have? Can we be a study? Ka api is there, so udhyani bhi is there, so udhyani bhi api. Ya api yogi adhikaha bhavati karmi bhyascha karmi bhyacha yogi. अधिक मत हे अर्जुन तस्मा हियर यू कैन से तस्मा तम योगी भव तस्मा तम योगी भव तस्मात् हे अर्जुन तम योगी भव एंड द लास्ट श्लोक ऑफ द चैप्टर अपि योगिनाम मध्ये 
मदगति न आई एम सींग लेटर्स विच आई हेव नॉट टाइप्ड सो अंतरात्मना यह श्रद्धावान माम भजते मे युक्त समह मत टू मी ही इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी द ग्रेटेस्ट योगी दिस इज द आइडिया हियर कैन मार द केसेस आई होप द मार केसेस आर क्लियर होम तत्सत एनी क्वेश्चन दिस कंप्लीट दिस सिक्स चैप्टर Suchi Nam, I had uh, say I couldn't see the questions here. Uh, so I have shown here uh, Yathokta Karmi, right? So that was what uh, Bhagwan Bhaskara said. Uh, so Suchi Nam, he had said Yathokta Kari Nam. So Yathokta Kari, whatever has been said, Yathokta as in as has been said. he does that so we can consider as shastra whatever has been said in shastra he does that is there anything else here in the tika uh, nothing else here so yathokta kari yathokta kari suchi a person who uh, does as has been said in the shastra he performs this prescribed duty that is the meaning there what else was the question i miss something else there so gana gana is gana devata is the, the group of deities you know so we say ganapati who is ganapati really he is the lord of the ganas so gana devatas there is a group of devatas there is a division of devatas and then there is a hierarchy of dev, devatas so gana devata is gana is a particular group so the way he say you know devata gana rakshasa gana whatever so it's a group basically so they have a specific uh, duties they have specific uh, responsibilities as well as they have specific siddhis they have gained that through some uh, upasanas one can give a particular uh, kind of janma as a devata so you have these local deities also if you go to village sites in uh, many places you will see there are local deities and the local those local deities are the jivas who have earned that kind of a devatva so people do their puja they give they have siddhis they they give some blessings so similarly there is a hierarchy there is sort of lot of categories of ganas and uh, you, you see if there are uh, you know ratha yatras or you know these uh, festivals in particular temples uh, now there are not many people to do it has to, the culture has to be revived and retained So you see, there lot of ganas. In fact, if you uh, look at uh, most of the devasthanas, orthodox devasthanas, uh, if you see when you do pradakshinas, there are some stones. You should not cross over and uh, uh, those stones. There are some, especially on the corners, corners and the middle. You see some, uh, uh, you know, at the on the floor when you are doing production of the temple complex, there you would see some, uh, you know, these. Uh, Uh, like lingas, they are not really lingas, but like lingas, you will see some structures which are buried there in the uh, on the floor. They are ganas, they are gana devatas. They will come with the, they are like a family of the uh, deity, family or they they serve the main deity. So they are also invoked along with the uh, devata. The gana devata is also invoked. So if you see in for Shiva, he needs a lot of assistants who. Whether he wants it or not, they'll come. These Bhuta Ganas will come with him. That's why, if you uh, read uh, the uh, Sati, the story of marriage of Sati, Parvati in, uh, uh, has to take a Janma to marry Shiva. So there, uh, her parents are asking her as to why are you wanting to marry Shiva, who is along with Bhuta Ganas. So they are the Ganas. He is. He is always along. I mean, he he stays in Smashana. So, what will be his guna? Gana? Ganas are. 
whether like, just like this tata the putra is also called as shishya is also like putra similarly these ganas are also like family they'll come as a group along with the main deity so ganapati he ganapati rules over all these ganas he is their uh, lord so i hope that answers the question anything else Okay, I'll see in the next part. I don't see any questions. So, namaste. Uh, we'll see if we can have a class on uh, Thursday. Uh, I'm uh, traveling on uh, Friday early morning and uh, I don't want to start something on uh, on Thursday. You know, Thursday, I don't want to start the seventh chapter on uh, and then take a break. There will be no classes uh, the next week. I'll uh, I'll let you know on chat as to when the next class will be.